Why are some memories remembered for a lifetime and others are forgotten? How do we understand how the brain contributes to who we are and how can we see that? What is consciousness? How do genetic factors cause a brain disease? Where is the origin of disease? Where is it where things first go wrong? How do billions of cells and trillions of synapses create a complex behavior? How does the brain work? Five out of the top ten causes of disease burden worldwide are brain diseases. The enormity of the impact of these illnesses on humanity cannot be overstated. The goal of the Friedman Brain Institute at Mount Sinai is to conquer these illnesses, to make the major fundamental advances in brain research that have been needed for decades, questions that have plagued mankind for millennia, questions that we're working to answer here at the Friedman Brain Institute. I could run for hours just for the journey. I think science is a lot like that. I might never cure schizophrenia. I wish that I might, but if I learn two really important things, the next person behind me will push it a little bit further. I study schizophrenia using stem cells. And the questions that I'm asking are actually ridiculously simple. I'm asking what type of brain cell, what type of neuron is affected first in disease? I could take skin samples from patients, turn those into stem cells and neurons, and those stem cells we can then direct to become brain cells. So now I have brain cells, neurons, that are genetically identical to those in the patients. And they should act identically to those in the patients. We don't have to only look at severe disease at an end stage. We can ask the questions about what went wrong before disease onset. We finally, as a field, have the tools to begin to understand the brain, to study the brain in all of its glorious complexity. It is the next frontier. I understand on a very visceral level that the future holds incredible promise for patients with debilitating neurological illness. Deep brain stimulation is a very unique opportunity to really get to the heart of the matter of because we are actually being able to map the brain in an exquisitely detailed fashion. To alter specific neural circuits and modulate them in a human being. We very often see miracles. Genetics is the key to understanding Alzheimer's disease. Our studies involve looking at families where there are multiple people who've been affected by Alzheimer's disease. What I'm doing is trying to identify those genes and knowing what those genes are will help us to develop new treatments for disease by identifying drugs that hit those genes. It's really incumbent upon us to try and take the basic knowledge that we generate in the lab and translate that into new effective therapeutics for really devastating disorders. And animal models are absolutely essential to drive new medications development. The ways that we're improving animal models is by taking the information that we have from humans which circuits are being impacted in a human? Which circuits early on begin to show dysfunction? When you're really interested in understanding at the neurocircuit level, which parts of the brain may be impacted by the drug, you really do require an animal model to be able to ask those types of questions. As we improve the animal models, we're going to improve the drugs that we make. The power of my research has to do with understanding human behavior. How can we put a break on 
behaviors that we're driven to commit. My focus is to use cutting-edge neuroimaging to understand how the brain contributes to disorders of self-control, such as drug addiction. Neuroimaging allows us to take a new look at this type of disorders that afflict humans. It yields a whole new level of understanding into human behavior. For example, we're able to look at the brain of addicted individuals while they're trying to regulate their cravings. When they're exposed to drug-related cues in a way that will reduce their craving, in a way that we then can help and intervene. This is a seminal moment in the neurosciences. Finally today, we have the tools available to make the major fundamental advances in brain research that have been needed for decades. We are doing great things at the Friedman Brain Institute at Mount Sinai. Each individual provides a key to a particular aspect of that challenge. Each effort being critical to the overall enterprise of getting the job done, which is conquering brain diseases.